through the adding up of tiny variations, fish would have evolved into amphibians. At every stage, the new form would be better adapted to an amphibious life than the last. In the struggle for life, the new kind would outcompete the old and drive it to extinction. The end result is a world today with fish and amphibians, but nothing in between. But don't the missing links turn up as fossils? It has been asserted over and over again that geology yields no linking forms. Darwin's critics maintained that he could not point to a single fossil intermediate between two different groups of living animals. He replied that few animals have ever become preserved as fossils. The fossil record was like an incomplete book. Only here and there a short chapter has been preserved, and of each page only here and there a few lines. Yet he was sure that in time, intermediate forms would come to light. One year after The Origin of Species was published, an extraordinary fossil was found in Germany. It has a mouthful of teeth like a reptile and feathers like a bird. This is Archaeopteryx. It's an animal intermediate between two living animal groups.